you know, there's a story in the Bible that has some insight into it that maybe you haven't really gleaned before. And that's what we want to look at today. We want to look at something that is miraculous and it is of divine greatness. And the disciples knew what to look for. One day, Yeshua, Jesus, was in a boat on the Sea of Galilee with his disciples. And as they were crossing to the other side of the lake, Yeshua, Jesus, went to sleep. Now, I can see how Yeshua could have done this. I've been on the Sea of Galilee in what they call the Jesus boat. And I've been at sunset. And you can just close your eyes and you can feel the boat rocking back and forth. And you can hear the water slapping against the side. And you can hear the birds at a distance. And your mind can slip back in time and your eyes can close and you can just drift off to sleep. As Yeshua slept, a violent windstorm came down on the lake and the boat started to take on water. The boat started filling up with water and they were in great danger. They came and they woke Yeshua Jesus saying, Rabbi, Rabbi, we're about to die. And Yeshua got up and rebuked the wind and the raging waves and they were still. Then Jesus looked at the disciples and he said, where is your faith? But they were amazed and they were afraid and they were saying to one another, who then is this? Who can this be? He commands even the wind and water and they obey him. Now the disciples were Jews and they understood the Tanakh, they understood the Old Testament and what it said about the one that was coming, the one that was the Messiah. And they, along with all of Israel at that time, were looking for Messiah. They were looking for the anointed one. And again, in Hebrew, uh, Messiah, anointed are the same word. They were looking for the anointed one that would again set up Jerusalem as the place where Adonai God would be worshipped and would not be under Roman rule. The disciples awakened the rabbi with great fear in their voice. We're going to die. We're going to die. And Yeshua, with great authority, stood and shows that he has authority over the sea and the wind. He commands the wind and the waves to be still, and they respond. Nature, creation, is responding to its creator. Something the disciples knew would be an attribute, an ability that only the Messiah would have. Who then is this? Someone that commands even the winds and the waves. You know, in my IMAX theater, in my mind, I see the disciples standing there with their outer garments wrapped around them and they're wet from the raging seas. And as Yeshua looks at them and asks, where is your faith? They look at each other as if they're looking for an answer to understand what has just happened before their eyes. And one speaks softly and the words escape his lips. Who is this? And one replies with Psalms 89, and another quotes Adonai Elohei Zevaot, who is as mighty as you, Yah. Your faithfulness surrounds you. You control the raging of the seas, and when its waves rear up, you calm them. Another quoted Psalms 107, in their trouble they cried to Adonai, and he rescued them from their distress. He silenced the storm and stilled its waves, and they rejoiced as the sea grew calm. And as the boat touched land on the other side, the lips of the disciples moved. No sound was heard, but the words were formed from Psalms 107. Then he brought them safely to their desired port. Do you sometimes feel you're awake in your boat and Yeshua, Jesus, is sleeping? Is he asking you, where is your faith? What is your answer? Have you placed your trust, your faith in Yeshua Jesus as Messiah, as your Messiah? Let his faithfulness surround you when you have less faith. Remember, Adonai Zevaot, Adonai Yadhe Vavhe, Elohe Zevaot. He can control the raging of the seas of life. And most importantly, he will bring us, he will bring you safely to the desired port on the other side. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you'll join me again uh, for another teaching, another glimpse of insight into the New Testament through the eyes of the disciples and the Jewish Jesus.